I would like to introduce Wanda Robson. She's a sister of Viola Desmond, the civil rights icon and pioneer African Nova Scotia businesswoman. Robson enrolled in Cape Breton University in 2000, never too late to learn, and that same year began sharing her sister's story at schools and in community groups. She graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree in 2004. In 2008, Robeson set out to raise further public awareness of the circumstances of her sister's arrest. Due in large parts to her efforts, the Nova Scotia government pardoned Viola Desmond in 2010. Robeson is the author of the book, Sister of Courage, Sister to Courage. So please welcome to the stage a legend in our community, Wanda Robeson. Can you see me? <laughs> I'm short. <laughs> Uh, I'm Wanda Robson. Thank you, Sylvia. Sister of Viola Desmond. And uh, I feel good. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't help it. Thank you. Thank you, El. It was wonderful to hear about my sister in, in poetry. And w when she was speaking, I was thinking of my sister. What, what a wonderful person she was. She was, uh, she was driven to work, driven to work in business. And she wasn't what you call an activist. She, she was busy studying, studying her craft. And she, of course, she had a, a great many customers. Uh, I was going to say a lot of customers, and she's over my shoulder saying, a great many, you don't say a lot. <laughs> she was always correcting my English. I, I loved her dearly, but I was a teenager and I would say, oh, there she goes again. <laughs> correcting my, she was wonderful though. She's wonderful, hardworking and generous. And of course you know her story. And when she came home, from the Glasgow. The next, I didn't see her then, I saw her the next day. And I asked her, what, what was it like in, in, in prison? I mean, in prison, jail, you know? I, I thought, what did you do? <laughs> she tried to tell me. But you're kind of feather-headed when you're a teenager. I'm sorry, the te teenagers in the audience. <laughs> I, I was, you, you may not believe it, but I was a teenager once, <laughs> many years ago. And when, when the word came to me that my sister had, had been in jail, my first, jail? My, jail? And I hung my head down. Jail? I didn't want anybody to know. She was a, I never, you know, shallow, worrying about, the next dance that was coming up, what dress I was going to wear. I mean, I had no idea why she was in jail. All I could hear was the word jail. And when I went to work next day, the people said, Once it, was that your sister? I said, yes, 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 don't, don't, don't talk about it. <laughs> people asked me today, they say, what would you have done? Well, I was kind of silly, 19, and if the manager had said to me, you, you have to go, go, I, I, I would have been angry, I would have put my head down and gone, and never gone back again. But Viola was made of sterner stuff. I know she was 12 years older, she was older, and she, she was a determined person, but even at 32, if I were 32, I, I couldn't fight racism when at my age, at, at that age, no. Uh, I would have just walked away. But what if all these people, like Viola and Carrie Best and Perlene Oliver and that, what if they had just walked away? We, where would we be? See, and so they, we need people like that, and we need their history, and we need it to remember it, 
and it needs to be told in the schools, which it's being now, because that's where it's all going to begin. Begin is with the children. You know, I really do not believe that small children see color. And and uh, I know when I was growing up on Gaudition Street, a little girl across the street from me, we played together. But, but her father was in the army, and when he came home, he, he wouldn't let her play with me. And I, I, we, we never understood that. See, children don't see color. So that is where, that is where this has got to begin. This melting of, of, of getting rid of racism, this melting of colors and children. Children, it, it's the young people that we have to really reach. And I think we're doing it now. I think it's coming. I think it's coming. And I, I, I lived, um, I, I jump around a bit. I'm almost 90, so forgive me. But, <laughs> thank you. But, uh, uh, but the, um, when, when, when I lived in the States, oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. And I lived there 11 years. But, and then people liken us to the States, and they, 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 we're, we're not like them. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, yes, we are. We're not as, there's more than many more black population in the United States than in Canada, but it's there. Racism, whether it's overt or not, it's there. It's still there, but as I repeat, I think if we educate our children, education is the key. Education can open so many doors. Education, and my mother used to always say, education, 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 where would you be if you didn't have it? Where would you go? I mean, it, it, there's, there's, there's so much today for, for young people. Uh, there are bursaries and scholarships and courses, and, and, and I'm not just saying university, college, there's, there's uh, trade schools. There's it, just what, it, you know, it, it's lovely to think about that a young person can be whatever they want to be. It, it's wonderful to think, but they have to educate themselves. You have to be, a, and of course, it's, it, this time of the economy is, uh, is, is, not, is not good. Few jobs, but I, I, I implore them that young people do not leave school. If you leave, where are you going? Where are you going? Nowhere. And you, there is a, a scholarship at Ryerson University, which I didn't know about. I know now, about three years ago I was there, and they have a Viola Desma Day, and they have a scholarship in Viola's name for the high school students who are going to Ryerson. And then there's a scholarship uh, it started at Cape Breton University, my alma mater. <laughs> I love I love saying that because, as 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 Elle said, I was I was 73 when I started when I started university. I loved every minute of it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. But, and I, I, I got the encouragement from my husband, who's a teacher, retired teacher, but I thought, oh, I don't know. I always wanted to go. I never had the money. I took a course here and there, but I, I went there and I thought, hey, this is, this is wonderful. And at first I thought, you know, people would be looking at me. Nobody really looked at me. And it got to the point that I think that the, the young people were coming to me with, with their, with their uh, love problems. <laughs> Uh, I, 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 I'm, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting in the library, minding my own business, working on a, on a, on a project, and next thing is, hey, Mrs. Robson, Wanda, can you, I, 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 can I talk to you? I said, yes. Well, I was out with my boyfriend, and then... I wasn't, what was it, Dear Abby or whatever. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then there, was, there was one who waited for me in the, 
in the, in, the, uh, in the foyer. He was waiting for his bus. As soon as he saw me, he would sidle up to me and tell me, tell me all about his troubles. <laughs> you know, his troubles. Nobody, and I'm not laughing at them. No, I'm not. And I'm not really because it's real to them. Those, 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 those situations of somebody not liking you or losing you. One, 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 one young man, th does this have anything to do with the black history? But I, 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 I don't care. I, I don't care. I care, but I don't care. Because you know why? <laughs> when, whenever I started to talk, my grandmother would say to my father, Oh, Lord. The, child, the child's tongue is hung in the middle. But I, 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 I must tell you about one of the students in my class. He was, uh, he was doing well. And then when we had our final exams, he wasn't there. And I said, oh my, where is he? And we, we exchanged notes and things. Like that. Next thing you know, the last day, I came down. There he is sitting in this round section the turntable sort of a size in the foyer. And his eyes were all red. I said, where have you been? You know, you've missed your final exam. <laughs> My girlfriend and I, we broke up and she was. I said, are you an idiot? I said, you're an idiot. And he looks at me like this. I said, you know what you're going to do? I said, you, you, your whole life is ahead of you, and you muffed it because of some girl. I know, she's wonderful, she love her. But right now, you've got to graduate. <laughs> All this money you spent, and you, you're sitting there crying, that you're going to go up to that professor, and you're going to tell him some long story <laughs> about, about why you're going to dry your eyes, and you're going to get on your knees, and you're going to beg to write the exams. He wrote the exams, and he's now a big geophysicist. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he's married, he married a girl who's a doctor. But, uh, you know, this has nothing to do with Black History Month, but, but I just felt like I wanted to tell you. But, but, but you know, uh, this, this all comes back to education. Education. And, and uh, uh, when, I, when I saw the young people studying, and I thought, this, this is great. And I thought, I want more, more black faces. More, more, there, were, there were quite a few Mi'kmaq, but they were, they were not integrated, I would say, into the, the whole scheme. But now, but it, that wasn't my problem. <laughs> you see, you see, there's my problem. There's my problem, and I want to tell you something. I love them. But you know what? I, I want to thank CBC. I want to thank them for this Heritage Minutes. I want, I want to thank them for being black in Canada. I want them to thank them because everybody can see, can see, and nothing, nothing is more, more meaningful than the visual, than the visual thing. You can see that, you can see it, and then you understand, you pass it on to your children. You do something for yourself too. You're never too old. And <laughs> Goodbye. I love all of you.